Ready? Go. Okay, so, uh, I was being a little bit too cavalier last time, I guess, because I... I did manage to do a damageless, but so did Heart Hunt, and he totally creamed my time, so I gotta go back and do it again, I suppose, and, uh... So I, I redid that first room so that it didn't suck, and uh, also the, the second room went well too, but I guess it did last time, so whatever. These rooms are just make restarts annoying. They don't really add any difficulty here. I have no idea how hard time this because that this is just ridiculous. I got to do that. I, that's the only way I can do it. And this part isn't hard. There's nothing to really note here. Except don't go on the wrong path, I guess. This part, I did just as fast when I wasn't even speedrunning it, so... No biggie here. And this is pretty much the last of the easy rooms, I think. These guys pretty much follow the same pattern as they did down below, so... This time I one-cycle this part, get up, getting up there before uh, I, the thing shoots again. This part's the same as before. In this room, I jump up the ladder this time. I didn't do that before, but... Here, I kind of just stole an Ema Zero strategy. Sorry, I'm a thief. This part is really hard. It looks... Uh, it d may not look that difficult, but uh, the timing was really irritating on that. Because you have to jump up... You pretty much have to jump before the first lightning thing starts firing, and Mega Man jumps up really quickly, so... Another one of these spots, pretty much the same as before. Nothing to say here. More electric things. I go at them from the front this time. It's ever so slightly harder, but there, it was simply a waste of time to come from back. I take the risk here. I find that waiting a moment before I run seems to increase my chances of that thing uh, jumping over me. So that's why I waited just like a quarter of a second there. This part's as boring as ever. Probably shouldn't exist. Alright, the boss fight. I suspect that the Hard Hunt strategy is both faster and easier, but I don't feel like stealing it because that would be lame, so I just use my own AI exploit here. And, yeah, no nothing eventful happens here. At one point, I'm wor I was really worried that I jumped too soon right after I pushed the jump button, but that didn't happen, so... I bet he doesn't really die here. I probably just broke his leg and he can't fight me anymore. Well, I guess that would not explain why he explodes. And I made a mistake by not moving to the left near that thing before I shot the last uh, bullet, but whatever. I'm not going to redo it for that. So, yeah, if, if you guys can...